I see you. Okay. There's not even any catnip planted there yet. Oh, skirt, skirt, skirt. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back, and happy Wednesday. Yes, happy Wacky Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. This is becoming one of my favorite um, uh, segments. I know, it's an excuse to do weird stuff. Just to do weird stuff. In the middle stuff. of the week. I so. know, it is, right? Mm -hmm. And we we did some weird things today. Yeah, we, we have did. a recipe for you. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick the contest winner. And, to, and but, but we'll, we'll just get on with it. How are you doing, by the mm -hmm. way? First, and most importantly, how are you? It's nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Yeah. I think they are. I hope so. I hope so. We're getting by here. We're doing yeah. okay. Yep. You were off today. I was off today. I took an afternoon off today. Yeah. So yeah. I was watching webinars just over and over again. And they're informative. Yeah. But they're long. Yes. Yes. So yes. I thought I could use a little sunshine, fresh air. It's beautiful here today. It is beautiful, as as you could tell by Oscar. I woke up to that this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar rolling around in my garden. Yeah. I had to share it with you because talk about wacky. Yeah. He's a wacky kitty. He's on the roof half the time. I know. <laughs> He's like I a know. Monkey. Monkey climbing down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But I it's really nice to have a gardening buddy. Yeah, I would it imagine. Is. It it so is. I stay in here with Bandit and just look out the window. <laughs> and then they shake their heads and I see them looking out the window. Yeah, it's only every so often. Yeah, only that's true. So often. But so. we uh we let's see. Uh no, is anything else you get caught up on? I don't think so. I think we're okay. I think we're you're okay. You're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Everyone's okay. If you're not okay, we're thinking of you. Okay. 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 We have everything ready to go. I think okay, so. Okay. I think we're okay. All right. So we were in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. We were. And I'm going to share with you a recipe <laughs> that I've been wanting to share for quite some time. It's your signature. It's my it's signature. It's one of his signature oh, recipes. Oh, yeah. And I, it fits perfectly into Wacky Wednesday because people are t so split uh, about it. Mm -hmm. There's people who love this and there's people that think it's totally crazy. I love it. And yeah. it is a bit nostalgic for me because it takes me back many, many years. My mm -hmm. grandmother used to make this and then I kind of like evolved it through the years, you yeah. know, and, uh, but I did serve it at the restaurant for quite a few many years, mm -hmm. really, and people liked it, because there's a lot you can do with it, too. Mm -hmm. It could be an accent to a cake, it could be a topper for a cake, it could just be a cookie, it could be, yes, we're talking about the infamous cook D. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a wink and a nod to a church window. Yes, if you remember of. that. The old, old church window cookies. I don't like church windows, really, but I like cookies. Yeah. I like what he makes. So. Well, the original church windows were, I thought they were nasty because they, they, they wouldn't use coconut in it. Like, it was, it's like marshmallows and some type of chocolate, and then they coat it in coconut. And I, that was the only part I didn't like about it was the coconut. I didn't yeah. like the texture or anything like that. So, but we, you know, I, I switched it up a little bit. So we'd like to share that with you right now. That sound okay? Sounds good to me. All right. Here are my cookies. Okay. We are here in the kitchen once again, and I'm about to share with you my recipe for cookies. Oh yeah. It's been a while. I know people have been asking for it. Everybody's intrigued about it, and I'm super excited to share it with you. So, first, this takes me back. This is a, a, one of those nostalgic recipes for me because 
cookies are actually based on an old, old time recipe called church window cookies. If you remember those from back in the day, they were marshmallows and they were enrobed in chocolate and then rolled in um, uh, coconut and then they were sliced. And I remember those uh, predominantly from going to church. My grandmother would make them all the time to take to church and we would also make them for our Christmas cookie platters. Uh, I loved them as a kid. I didn't like the coconut, but sometimes she would put chopped nuts on the outside of them. Oh, so good. And uh, later on in life, I started thinking, oh my gosh, we could switch up the ingredients and make these into kind of a gourmet-y type of confection. So that's exactly what I did. And then I named them Cookies. Why cookies? Oh my gosh, so simple. It's a cross between a candy and a cookie. Cookies. Brilliant, huh? Right? Okay. So anyway, to make these, all you need are three very simple ingredients. You will need a bag of mini marshmallows. You will need something to enrobe the marshmallows with, some type of chocolate. And then you'll need something for the uh, crust of it. And uh, you could use cookies. Um, today, our version is going to be a nice summer springy kind of a cookie. We're going to do lemon. Ooh, it's going to be so good. So today, we're going to be using lemon snaps. Now, I personally, now, uh, in addition to that, you can have an optional additional ingredient if you'd like. And that is what I call a mix-in. Today, we're using crunchy marshmallows. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are like the marshmallows that are in Lucky Charms, but just the marshmallows. Oh yeah. It's going to make a nice texture and add a little bit of flavor to it too. So, uh, one of the things that I find extremely fun about this recipe is looking for the ingredients to make it because you can switch it up and make any type you want, like different types of marshmallows, different types of coatings, like ginger snap, with cinnamon marshmallows. Oh yeah, it's very, very good. And of course, this, the, the chocolate that you uh, roll the marshmallows in, I mean, any flavor, any kind, you can mix and match. For example, when I make my cookies and cream, I use just regular white marshmallows, white chocolate, and then I use Oreos that I crush up for the coating. And then as the mix-in, I just chop up some Oreos and mix them in there too. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So. Let's get to. So first you want to grab yourself some parchment paper. You can also use wax paper and put some down on your work surface just like that. That'll be for a little bit later. Next, you want to get your chocolate. Today we're using Ghirardelli white chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Which I have microwaved at 15 second intervals until it's fully melted. You want to do that with whatever type of chocolate you're using. Today, uh, the ingredients are regular white mini marshmallows, Ghirardelli white chocolate, and we're using lemon snaps as the coating, and for the mix-ins, we're using our marshmallows, okay? So I melted my chocolate. It's all yummy and ready to go. Get yourself a big bowl. I'm just using my stand mixer bowl, and the recipe calls for one package each. Now, I already was practicing, so you'll see I'm only using half, but... Use one packet each, okay? One package each, I should say. Simply empty that in there. Now, if you choose to go with a, a, a mix-in, put it in now. We're going to put about a cup of these yummy marshmallows in there, okay? Now, that's all ready to go. Our chocolate is all melted. Before we mix those together, we have to have something that we are going to use as a crust. So, I took the lemon cookies and I ground them up into... A, a crumb texture. Now you can do that in your food processor, um, or if you want to get some, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of aggravation out, or just for the fun of it, put it in a, put them in a Ziploc bag, or just some grocery bags, just like this. I use two grocery bags. Put it down here like this. Grab yourself a spoon and whack away, just like so. Oh my gosh, this gets out any pent-up energy you may have in you. And then you can take the back of it and roll it so you get a nice crumb. Can you hear it? Crunch. And this is the perfect time to sing to your creation. Okay, you get the idea. 
Anyway, now we have this. Now we have crumbs. all the last bit of goodness out there. Now, it, I like fine crumbs, and you'll see there's some big ones in there too. Perfectly fine. You can leave those in. A little extra crunch actually adds to it too. Um, I like to crunch them up just a little bit there, but this is perfect. So you're going to take your crumbs, lay them onto your parchment paper, like so. All right, spread them out a little bit. And reserve a little bit. I have just a little bit in there, but um, you can reserve. It'll make it a little bit easier. Just reserve like a cup or so, okay? So you have that like that. Now the fun, messy part begins. So take your melted chocolate. Pour it all over your mixture just like so. Now I like to use my hands for this part because I like to get all like messy when get right into it, but... You know, since we're making a video, I'll use my spatula and mix it all up so everything is nice and covered and enrobed. Mmm. Looks good. <laughs> Yum. Okay. okay. Now, for the next part, we're going to pour this out onto our crumb mixture. And the, the what we're aiming for here is like a log as best as possible, okay? So get all that yummy goodness on top like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. And now we're going to get all that last bit of yummy goodness. Okay, get that in there. You don't want to waste anything, especially white chocolate. I mean, my gosh, that's like a mortal sin. Okay. So now I'll set that aside there. Okay. Now this part... Our ultimate goal is to make kind of a log. There's no wrong way to do this at all. Use your hands, get messy, whatever. You do this by pulling up both sides, like so, like so. That gets the sides done. And you have your little leftover crumbs here. Sprinkle that all over the top, just like that. Now, it, you know, it, it, it's not going to stick to the parchment, so not every little piece has to be covered, you know. So you can also do that if you want. We're going to bring that up around, like so. And that is perfect. So now we're going to take a fold like this, okay? And we're going to tuck our ends under, like so, okay? Here we go like this. Yes, you're using two hands at once here. And give it a squeeze. Squeeze it into a log. Whatever size, whatever shape you want. Now, if you're using the whole package, like I said at the beginning, your log is going to be a lot bigger. Okay? It's going to be a lot longer, a lot bigger. Uh, and that's fine. I, that's the way I make mine um, at Christmas. I do a lot of different varieties of them, and they're really, really long. So, okay. This looks pretty good. Down back under. This little edge won't want to stick. Okay, there we go. All right, turn this under. I think that's perfect. Okay, so now we have our log, funny as it looks, right? We're going to put this in the refrigerator for 15 minutes, like so. 15 minutes, bam. But with the magic of video, I just happen to have one ready. How about that? How about that? I hope I left it in for 15 minutes. But, and this is the fun part. Okay, now we're going to unwrap our log. And this is what you're left with. Put that away. You can save your crumbs for your next batch, if you'd like. And this is what you have. Now I'm going to grab a knife. Now, you know what? Let me grab two nuts because I want to show you the difference here. All right. You can use one like this. I saw that. What? I saw that. I didn't do anything. All right. So now we're going to cut these into cookies. Now, you can use a straight edge knife or a, a one like this and cut the end off here. That part is for you, for all of the hard work you did. Oh, thank you. I meant them, not you. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's okay. nice. And however thick you want to make them. And you have a cookie. 
super delicious, very easy to make, so versatile. I'm telling you, you can do so many different flavors with these. They're so good, and they look so nice on a Christmas platter. Now, like I said, these ones, they are lemon that we made today. Um, I could see a s'mores one, graham cracker crumbs on the outside, chocolate, marshmallows. Oh, it'd be perfect. So anyway, that is a cook tea. I'll be making another video where I show you some other different recipes uh, pretty soon with different flavors, okay? So... All right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy your cookies, okay? Bye. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm Steve. This is Mark. I, sorry. I lost my place. They are good, aren't they? Aren't they? They're, 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 they're very cool looking, you know? And, like, you can make them in all different flavors, as wacky as you want. I even made a Jolly Rancher one once. Mm -hmm. The kids liked it. You know, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That is the infamous Cook D. It's good for kids, too, because the hottest thing is chocolate, and the chocolate's at, like, what, 110 degrees? Oh, yeah, kids love making them. They do. Mm -hmm. I like making them. I ruined them the first time. You did. I threw everything in a pot and it all melted. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I made I nougat, I think, instead. It's so easy. I cannot... I. I don't know how you did it. I don't. I, 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 I'm thinking you've cooked the marshmallows, maybe? I ruined nice things. <laughs> It's a little thing I do. <laughs> Just, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little thing true. I do. I... No, you're a good cook. Yeah, I can cook. I you're can. not a baker, but you're a cook, definitely. Well, bakers are born, not made. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was a baker most of my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, I worked in restaurants my whole life, but predominantly I, I was a baker. Yeah, no, I can, I can cook, but I can't. <laughs> I can't bake. I yeah. bake bricks. Everyone's on there, like, getting yeast and I'm making sourdough because there's no bread in the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. And we, if you remember, we did that prior to the pandemic. We did. We were ahead of the game. Again. Trendsetters. Of oh, course. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Just, just totally getting there. Totally. So getting. I'd be remiss not to ask. Well, we are. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. Oh, I got, I got, first of all, like, in next, oh, man, you got to tune in next Wednesday because... Well, well, I'll tell you about it later, but we have a couple people, a couple viewers had sent us some stuff in the mail. They haven't arrived yet. Like, one's coming Friday, one's coming on Saturday uh, to use in, in Wacky Wednesday. Mm. I don't know. Did I tell you already? Or no? Bits and pieces. Bits and pieces, yeah. He never pays attention anyway, so I have to say it again. You weren't sure you told me. No. I guess you got me there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anyway uh, so uh, one of them, I kind of know what it is, and the other one, I don't know. So I'm anxious to see it, and I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun next week. And we got the pie face game. Everyone wanted us to the do pie the pie face game. The pie face game, yes. What yes. sadist sent us the pie <laughs> face game? <laughs> I don't know, but we have to do it. <laughs> okay. It was from our viewers. Hey, we got a couple of them coming. They support us, we'll support them. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I see that you're pierced. Yes, actually. <laughs> well, in the spirit of Wacky Wednesday, I thought I would, you know, go out on a limb and see how many piercings I could fit back in my face. Now, when I was, like, 18, I had eight in each ear, and I had my tongue, and I had my nose. And a lot of these healed. But as you can see, some of oh, them... Oh, you have them all in! I have four. I was able to fit back here. Two in the cartilage. These never closed. Ever. Yeah. And then two there. And then my nose... You have your nose fit back oh, in. Let's go, yes. And then these couple. These healed. These two healed. The other ones all healed. And my tongue, I could probably... I had my tongue. And uh, couldn't find the jewelry. I don't know where it is. So well, it was only, what, 15 years ago? Yeah. Something I wore like that. that. I had yeah. my tongue pierced for 10 years, and then I took it out. I think I had. To, I was in some facility, and you couldn't have jewelry. I forget what it was. Mm -hmm. I took it out, and then I put it back in, and then I think I cracked a tooth in the back somewhere. And I always said, if I crack a tooth, that's it. I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> and I got rid of it. Ah, well, this is actually the first time I've ever seen you. With most of your piercings in, I know. Don't have a couple. in all these years. I've I'm, never seen. I'm I think like you put the nose ring in maybe it. twice. Yeah, like Halloween, I'll put them in yeah. sometimes. I, I like the look of a just a, like a small stud in the nose. I like that look. Actually. My mom liked it. I, yeah. yeah, I could always get a chain and run it from here to here. Yeah, you know, and you then could from there to there. You could. Wasn't there a, a, a singer 
They had that. That was her thing. I don't. She know. had this going here, and she was real wild looking. I know this goes back many years. I don't yeah. even remember what her name is. But uh, and and you, I see your. You still have tips. There's still a tiny bit of blonde there on the is. very very end. I haven't. They're cut, like little tips. I haven't cut my hair in about two weeks. Well, you know what's what's left. And um, we have all the bleach, so I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, the bleach. I'm trying to find that silver hair dye. It's like silver gold. I think yeah. Faria makes it. And it's local. It's around. But we just haven't hit the right store yet. There's yeah. not that much of a rush on hair dye around here as there is maybe some other places. <laughs> so um, we'll either get it online or, or we'll pick it up. Mm -hmm. And then that's my next experiment. I have to bleach my hair probably down to white because I have almost black hair. Uh-huh. And then... And then do that. Color. If it lives, put the color on top. Wow. Oh, well, I'll be I'll be there for that. And if it falls out, I'll match. Uh, so yeah. I mean, it's win win, really. You know? <laughs> right. I think everyone's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, he's a he's one of them punks or something." Oh please, I'm as sweet as pie. I I went side story, and then we'll get into okay our next bit of business. Okay, I'm 18 years old. Yes. I look twice as pierced as this. Half my hair is orange. Half my hair is blue. Piercings. They're having a blood drive at the private Jesuit university that I was attending on scholarship. Just because I looked funny doesn't mean I was a wreck. <laughs> I got in, so I go to give blood. I'm laying on the gurney. I fill out all the forms. All my piercings were done perfectly fine. You know, I was abstinent as per the man on man, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they go to take my blood, and the woman says, What must your mother think of you? She said that to you! Yeah! I was like, I think she'd think this I was giving city, blood. This is too, right? This is in... This was in Scranton. Oh, it was in Scranton? Yeah, so we're talking about 20 years ago, but really like 150. Yeah. I think she would think I was giving blood. I think she'd be happy about that. You would think. Well, where's my cookie? Let me get out of here. <laughs> really? So, piercings and body art. Okay, none of that should matter for a workplace. Yeah. But it does. But it does. Realistically. Yeah, it does. People in positions of power have very strong opinions about it. Whatever. Mm. Ten, 15 years ago, I worked at a university. I had my tongue pierced. The associate director had his pierced and he had gauges before a lot of people had gauges mm -hmm. but it was a higher education environment yeah you work as a chef mm -hmm. you know oh, yeah sleeve tattoos oh yeah. piercings whatever it was like the norm you know because it's the quality of your work it's not your appearance right, right. um but that's not the situation everywhere i could not wear a nose ring to work i could probably not wear all these earrings to work so um, yeah since we're home why not? Why not? Yes. Let's listen to speed metal and drink Red Bull. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. And chain smoke. And chain smoke. Well, <laughs> well I gotta get those du jour and blacks I had. Because I was so deep and brooding oh, when yes. I was 19. Oh, yes. 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 The world was a cruel place and I was happy to tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell hung out with me at that I age? don't know. That's what's going through my mind. Like, mm, no, that, that's, there's something very attractive about that tragic person yeah my very deep I, goth this like weird ophelian vibe <laughs> my, my chronic vocal fry there was yeah oh but enough about my memory lane to my yes. debauched teen years yeah um we had a contest <gasps> we did we did we did have a contest mm -hmm. are we gonna pick it now i don't know what do you want to do first do we want to show um <laughs> this first or do we want to draw the contest winner first well i guess we'll show this first because, okay because uh, you know i mean you know did you get a good look at this folks here <laughs> it's I'm not as green in real life no. it's actually more like uh the lighting is bad blue. i don't think they can i don't i'm not sure it's hard to tell with the little screen i don't know if you can see it on video or not uh, if it but was if it was I green actually, i would tell you it was green it's not i'm happy green. with it um We'll see if the other video looks better because the lighting in the bathroom, lighting in the bathroom is, is a little, little different. bit different, so it might. But this is how it happened. Okay, we're here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a whirl. Bossy blue. I just noticed that. Oh my god, the things we do while in quarantine. I know. Oh, what else right, are you going to so, get to do it, though, you know? I know. My hair's washed. And red, look at how nice the blonde is. We're gonna get rid of the. Oh. We can bleach it later. Bleach. <laughs> I like the blonde. All right. Well, you know, you gotta live, right? Yeah. So it says. Okay. So all I do is put this stuff in my hair. That's it. 
All right, let's see what it looks like. I got my, my your paintbrush. All right. We have gloves if you want. We to. have gloves. It says to wear gloves. We have two sets in case you have to help me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another set here. All right. So let's see what this stuff looks like. Oh, that is blue. Holy heck. That is very blue. <laughs> All right, should I? All right, let me put some gloves on. <laughs> Blue towel, blue shirt, blue gloves, blue hair. All right. So, I do I use a brush? Uh, let's see. Or my what, hand. Let's go so to let the box. Let me try it with this first. Caution, caution, caution. There's more cautions than directions. Oh. <gasps> uh, use gloves and apply it to dry hair. Oh, this is blue. Use gloves to put it on. Well, it says to use gloves. Massage throughout your hair and comb through. So it sounds like you can put right. it pretty generously on. My fear is blue scalp. That's my fear, too. I only have two fears for this. Blue scalp and green hair. So, we'll see. Green? I didn't think of that. Green? Well, blue and yellow make green. So, on um, washing out, it, 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 a little bit green it might be. Oh, a little bit green? Well, I told or you. a we, lot green. We can get, you know. We can get what? We can get the color back out, if you don't like it. Oh, this smells lovely. This I'm trying like not to paint. get all the short hair. <laughs> I know, it's like paint. Oh, I better hurry. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I don't, I cannot believe. This is very unlike me. Very, very unlike me. You've played with your hair a lot uh, since I've met you, though. Well, with hair cuts, not hair color. Yeah. You had a mohawk, a mohawk. You had very uh, long hair. Well, a mohawk and long hair is one thing. Blue hair. But that's more of a commitment. But you know what? I want to be trendy. So, um, you know, I, you know, these colored hairs are like in now i'm thinking and you know me i like to be a you set the trends I like baby to set the trends they're in now <laughs> oh yeah all right so there it is okay oh, oh, oh we gotta comb it through right yeah comb it through and then you'll touch up the back for me. I'll touch up and then try to get as much off of your skin as I can. Okay, that sounds really good. Thank it you. says to massage it in, which makes oh. me think oh. Oh. that they think either you don't care about color on your scalp or it's not going to do that. All right. I forgot. I didn't do that. So now I got to... All right. Okay, I think that's massaged in. I think that's plenty. Do you? Yeah. All right, so now I'll comb it, and then you'll, um... I'll do some touch-ups where needed. Do some touch-ups where needed. I have to decide oh. if I want to dye all oh. of your hair blue oh. or leave the rest of this brown. I know, or... like the real, real shaved parts? Yeah. Now, I'm afraid if we do the shaved parts that that's going to definitely dye my head. Well, I have to see, because it, this came down a little lower in the back than I thought. What did? There's a drip right Oh, get there. it, get it, get it! Okay, well, all right. Well, <laughs> well, you need to, oh! Comb it in. And you need to do it. Okay. All right. Why don't so we, we pause leave here? leave this in for five to 20 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Well, I'm rinsing it. I'm rinsing it. I mean, drying it. I'm afraid. I'm sure it's fine. Should I show it? No. We'll just leave it here. I want to see. I look like Mother Teresa. Something there. So, all right. Red. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. What in gay hell did I do? You know what? It's not that bad. No. It's blue. It's not as green as I had worried. It's kind of oh. aqua icy something something. Guess I'll style it. Okay. Yeah, I think you can see it. Maybe I think not. it does. I don't know. It's kind of aquamarine. It's yeah. supposed to be five to ten washes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh out. yeah. It's not permanent. It's five to ten washes. Mm -hmm. And I used I'm gonna say a quarter of the bottle, maybe a little more. And they say to reapply it if you want it to be more vibrant. But I like the. Um, 
kind of ashy, silvery look to it. it does I, li- a, I like it. It's got a silvery twinge to it. Is that because your hair was brassy when it went Maybe. on? Maybe. It might know. be. I don't know. But you could always give you know. Always but I do like it. it I mean, I would, I'd cons- consider rocking it. In the last two days, time. I've not only cut his hair, but we've covered it blue. He did cut it. He did. Thank you. You did a I very did a good very job. mediocre job. He did a good job. Cutting his, I didn't do a good job. I can't job. wait to go to the salon, nice, though, though. Let me tell you. Yeah. I, that back, you don't want to see the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brad Mondo. <gasps> I know. I've been watching all these beauty. It's not that terrible. I'm watching all these. Be- it's not too bad. It's not too not, too bad. No, no it's really. I'm watching all these beauty videos. I just found out who Brad Mondo is. I didn't even know who he was. I kind of still don't. I don't either. <laughs> Tell the truth. But I'm supposed to. Maybe he'll see. <laughs> maybe he'll see this and he'll comment on but it. But I've seen a lot. Like, of, I've be... seen a lot of women butcher their hair in the interest yeah. of getting his attention. Oh it's yeah. Very bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> it's very I'm bizarre. Not even really sure who he is, but um. I know he's a, a stylist. He's kind of a big I, deal. Yeah, he's a big deal. I've been watching Harry. Like YouTube big deal or like in life big deal? Like it's hard to tell. And then there was that, that other one who was the cover girl guy. Oh, him. Oh. He was the first male cover girl. Cover girl? Yeah. Yeah, he, he grinds my gears. <laughs> Me too. He does. I don't know why. Does he, he seems like a nice guy. Does he know. identify as he, she, them, or, or I don't know. all the above? I don't know. I'm not sure Not either. that it matters. I just don't want to get the pronouns wrong. Right. Right. Um, James Charles, Charles James, I forget what his name is. Anyway, he annoys the hell out of me. He annoys me too. Oh, he's very photogenic, you know, very good look. I, I you know, I. Good representation. Very, it's good for can, people. You can make them up. You can. Um, good you know, for young people. Good to model. See someone very who looks model. like them up there in, in yeah. whatever. Yeah. I know he yeah. had that. He had some sort of snafu with another person, and uh, he lost like a million subscribers yeah, in one day because he was well, you know, going off at the mouth. Yeah, and that's what I don't like. Yeah, his, his twenty year old millionaires. What's to like? I <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> now, not that you'll be a millionaire. No, but one but of you will be fifty dollars richer. richer if you spend it on Amazon. Yes, that's true. Oh okay, my gosh. shall we draw? <laughs> Let's do it. So we had a contest, and uh, at the beginning uh, of the video today, I put uh, a lot of the the entries on there. It was a viewer artwork challenge, and. Um, all our reviewers sent in their own SSAM creations. And they were all great. Yes, they were. We were totally blown away by them. I was, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, um, that was the, the slideshow at the beginning of the video tonight. Now, all of the entries are in our lucky basket. And there were 17 of them. So mm-hmm. that's... Your odds are pretty good. Really good odds. Very, very, very good odds. Mm-hmm. So um, do you want to draw? I'll draw. Okay. All right. So, drum roll, please. All right. Let me get my glasses. Okay. All right. And this... Oops, I took two. All right. This goes to... Michelle E. Michelle E! Oh! Congratulations, Michelle! Okay. No, no, wait. Wait, wait. What? We have to have a runner-up. Because you guys did a lot of work. You did. So the runner-up's going to get two Redbox movie rental codes, okay? Okay. You going to pick another one? Yeah. Okay. wonder if my fake account was entered. (laughs) I just entered one of your old... Are you Michelle E? I put in one of your old thumbnails as a (laughs) submission. Okay. Uh, This is... Cat B. Cat B! Yay! So, Michelle E and Cat B. Ah! I had the confetti ready. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. You were confetti worthy. So, Cat B and Michelle E, you are our winners. I, I was so impressed with your artwork. Michelle, you won a $50 Amazon gift card. Cat B, you got two Redbox movie rentals coming your way. Get in contact with me, or I'll get in contact with you and get your prize to you, okay? So congratulations, and really, thank you to everybody who entered. We really, we... They were so, so They were nice. so cool. It is so cool. They were nice. You they take were your time. thoughtful. They were flattering. And, they and were, creativity yeah. to do something that inc- included us. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was so, so cool. I just loved it. So thank you, everybody, for doing it. And congratulations to the winner. And keep your mm-hmm. eyes out because I'm totally digging the contest. So you never know. We may have another one. Yeah, there's always soon. one running sometimes. Two. Yes. It's Christmas three. Yes. So... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I I think we should... Oh, I forgot to show my son. This is what you won. Amazon. 
Ah, red box. All right. Well, I think that's a great place to end. I think so, too. Bye. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell on your way out so you get all the alerts. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smoky Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smoky Steve and Mark. I'm watching that confetti. <laughs> Our email address and contact info is all listed down below. Thank you again for watching, and I will catch up with all of you tomorrow for Life After Caretaking. Oh, yes. There's it been should some, be an interesting There's one. been some interesting things going on. Yeah, there has. Um, oh, I can't wait. And I, That I've been made privy to. I so wait. we'll have a talk tomorrow. Yes. We'll yes, talk tomorrow. Yes, we will. It was so great spending time with you. You really, really put a little, like, uh, skip in my day. We'll put that. We'll, we'll say it like that because yeah. it put me in a good mood. So it was great spending time with you. Remember, everybody, stay safe, stay positive. But above all else, stay wacky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you later, everybody. Bye.